Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today I wanted to jump right into a bit of an unboxing. I'm going to put my own spin on this because if you want a detailed unboxing, you can go straight to the Instagram of the company and they actually do really good unboxings. That is something that was really helpful for me choosing to go with this company. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you check the description because I will put the information for their Instagram down there. Before I go into the box, I just wanna do a very quick background about me, especially for those people who are new to my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my next upload. I originally graduated college with an international studies major. I concentrated in East Asian studies as well as environmental science, but I also took Japanese classes at a sister college. I have taken nine years of Japanese and studied abroad in Japan for a semester. I think that learning a foreign language is extremely important and it is something that I definitely want my daughters to learn. It doesn't have to be Japanese. I'm going to be talking about Spanish in this video, but I think language learning is extremely important and it's so important to start young. I would love to teach my daughters Japanese, but I do think that Spanish is going to be a more useful language for them. So that is why I was interested in finding a fun way to teach them Spanish. Now, as much as I know I want my daughters to learn a foreign language, the actual route to teach them one is something that is new to me. And I'm going to just try different things out and see what works best for our family. Hola amigo caught my eye because it looked fun, honestly. When I watched their unboxings, when I checked out their Instagram, when I went onto their website, they just looked like fun activities and ways to learn a language. And I also loved that it included a bilingual book. So with that said, I'm gonna show you what I got in the box and just how I plan to implement these things with the tot school that we already have going on. This is what the box looked like when I first opened it. And it is a subscription, but I opted to just purchase one box just so we can try it out and see if we like it. If this is something that works for us, I will consider the subscription, but I will say it's a little more expensive than I was hoping for. So I'll really have to see how well this works for us. There's this card as well as this pamphlet on the top of the box. This card details some outside resources that you can use. And on the other side is an overview of the things that are in the box. The pamphlet is a more detailed overview of the things that you find inside the box. So right off the bat, there are two things that I absolutely love. I love that they use the QR codes to enhance what you have inside the box. They have a Pinterest board, they have a YouTube playlist, and then they even have a QR code that you can scan for the reading of the book. And then on this page, they have another QR code which goes through all of this. Again, I took Japanese. Spanish is not a language that I know very much about. And I will say that when it comes to pronunciation, there are some things that I look at and I have no idea how to pronounce it. So anything that is in Spanish, there is a QR code with video or audio that allows you to know the correct pronunciation, which is absolutely amazing. And all of the things that are in here are hands-on activities. So your child is involved in the learning. You're not just holding up flashcards and practicing rote memorization. So I appreciate that this is very involved and you can tell that a lot of thought went into this by educated people. This is the bilingual book that we received. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but the theme of this box is spring. What's really cool is we have the winter version of this book in English, so it's already a familiar book for my daughter. And as I said, it is bilingual, so there's both English and Spanish in the book. Since I don't have a background in Spanish, we'll definitely be listening to the audio the first few times we read this book, and I will try my best to learn how to read it so that we can read it together without the audio as well. Some of the other things in this box are this play mat that has two sides. The first side is flowers with shapes and colors and the reverse side focuses on counting. And both sides have the QR code so that you can scan it and watch the YouTube video for the song, which is really helpful. So if you've seen my circle time videos before, then you know that I created a circle time board that I do with my daughter. And I think that this is going to be a really great time to implement the book. We always read a book at circle time. I haven't fully decided if we will read two books now or if I'll just focus on this one book. We'll just have to get going and see what works best, but I think that would be a great time for us to implement the book. And since our circle time board is a full calendar and we go over colors and shapes and all of these things, this will also be a great time 
to go over some of the Spanish that we are learning through the book as well as the activities. Generally, after we are done reading, we don't just jump right into an activity. There are two reasons for this. The first reason is because I feel that circle time is enough of a learning experience and an event, and I don't wanna push her too much to keep doing educational activity after educational activity, even if they are fun. I do wanna make sure that I am giving her that open-ended time to play in the way that she wants to play. I try to make sure that we're being really flexible. She's not in school. I don't want home to feel like school. I want it to feel like a normal environment where there are learning opportunities. The other reason is I have a five month old. I'm never able to just stick to a straight schedule. So normally the best time to do an activity with Alani would be after I have gotten Emmy down or even after Alani's nap when she is feeling refreshed and ready to go. So this side has these cards as well as this little bee, which I think is so adorable. And then again, I am no Spanish speaker. This is something that I am going to be learning. So there is a QR code on the card and it goes into the pronunciation for all of these. And then on the reverse side of this card, I said it's the numbers. And so you have the numbers here as well as this cute little toy bird. So let me quickly take this out of the packaging. So this bird has little holes in it and then these five little feathers that you would put in the little holes when you're working on your counting. So again, one of the things that I love about the subscription box, it's not just rote memorization flashcards, they're actual activities your child is using their hands, and that's really gonna help them so much more in learning the language. The last two things in this box are crafts. So all together, there are two sides of the play mat and then two crafts. So for me, I would do one activity each week. That way I have a full month of these Spanish activities. I think it would be really helpful to just do one and really focus on the vocabulary surrounding that one activity for that week. The first craft that comes in this box is this flower activity. So there are all of these foam pieces and this is what the craft is supposed to look like in the end. The other craft is a foam mask. Based on this paper, there are a few different ones that we could have ended up with and we have what looks to be a caterpillar. That's what I'm gathering this is. Now I will say for the flower craft, there is a guide of different words to use, different sentences, phrases, those types of things. There isn't anything really to go with the mask. So I would save that for the last week because by then we've done so much with the other things and vocabulary that I think that on my own, I would feel comfortable enough to at least talk about this craft as we're doing it using some of the vocabulary that we've learned. So those are all the items in the box and I'm really excited to jump into this with Alani. I'm really excited to see what she thinks about these activities and how well she picks up on the Spanish vocabulary. If you are considering the Hola Amigo box, I really hope this helped you with your decision. And if not, make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I will make sure to document as we figure this all out ourselves. And if you have any questions or even recommendations for other programs or subscription boxes, please make sure to leave them in the comments. This is completely new to me and I'm really excited to jump into foreign language learning with my daughter. And in case you are new, my daughter is two. She will be three in June. Please hit that like button if you haven't already and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.